Friday is all about lifestyle on Cabo Bay in LA. Last Friday, we talked about summer beauty trends. We talked about tanning. We talked about weight loss program. We talked about throwing a spa party. If you missed that or any of our previous shows here on Cabo Bay in LA, log on to our YouTube page, youtube.com slash Cabo Bay in LA 18. We'll bring you more later because we also have a Facebook page. We also have, we also are on Twitter. We're going to show that to you later sa atin pong programa. But for now, welcoming back on the show, the dynamic duo, the sisters of the Aviandi, si Dindi and si Anya. Hello and Hi, welcome Janelle. to Kavavai in Thank LA. Thank you for having us back. The last time you were here was what, second quarter, first quarter, a few I months ago, yeah, right? Ago. So what's, uh, what's going on? What have you been up to since? Well, uh, we do so far, We one of our biggest um, uh, plans is to actually open in the Philippines. So Viandi is ViandiUSA.com. They sell clothes, very, very stylish, these sisters. And what you do is you don't design the clothes, but you style the clothes. Yes. Right? Yes, and now that you're expanding to the Philippines, what's the plan? We want to establish the brand over there and put up a boutique. So the boutique will pretty much look uh, modern, neat, yeah. and we want our customers to have a uh, a boutique experience and an intimate shopping experience. Yeah. It's very interesting the story of these two sisters. What happened, Naalet, very briefly for those who didn't catch our first interview? Well, How our, did you get into Viandi? Our mom um, opened a boutique back in, I think that was 97. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, or sorry, uh, 87. 87, okay. Yes, and she opened it for a few years. And then, probably due to the sugar industry, um, it didn't go well, and so she yeah, decided she to close it down. down. Uh -huh. And so, with our plans opening in the Philippines, we thought, you know, might as well bring it back to where it started. Right. So, we are going to open, um, hopefully, hometown. when we find a location, we're going to open in Bacolod. Ayan, para dun sa mga taga Bacolod, abangan nyo po ang pagbubukas ng Viandi, and the plan is to do that by next year, correct? Hopefully, hopefully by the hopefully. end. <laughs> yes, hopefully <laughs> sooner. And for your fans here in the States, they also do trunk shows. They do shows here. Yes. They attend conventions. What's yes. the most recent one you've attended? We went to St. Regis, mm -hmm. and we we had a little uh, booth over there. Yes, yes. We did pretty good. We did pretty yeah. good in that event. We Not had a lot of connections. Too. Right, right. Yes. Mostly the people that have clothing lines or clothing stores, they design. But what I like about this concept is they don't design design their own but they style so if you call them or email them or Facebook them or go online they're not just gonna sell you the dress they're also gonna give um, uh, suggestions on what right, color yeah. of shoes to wear with it what accessories to wear with it and that's why I like working with uh, Dindi and, um, and Anya for Viandi as well um, yeah. now yes. let's talk about trends so if you don't design your own clothes it's 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 okay still right yes, you just have yes. to be updated with what's yes. going on we spent some time doing some trend forecasting in that way with with this industry it's so dynamic with the fashion industry right. so we really have to spend time and researching on right. what what are new what's out now right when you research do you what read magazines go yes. out actually go to visit some boutiques yes. what Yes, we do. we do that. We go to boutiques. We go to websites that actually focus on fashion. Mm -hmm. We go to blogs that talk about fashion because these are the places that um, give us all these ideas and the forecast. Right. So let's talk about fall forecast. So fall is what? September, no? Pretty much. September, yeah. October, yeah, November, November yeah. and yen. Okay. What can we expect for fall? Um, the nice thing about fall is that the colors are still gonna, uh, it's still gonna be colorful. Okay, um, a little even in fall. Yes. Yeah, okay. Some of the colors are gonna be tangerine, uh, ultra, uh, uh, fiery orange. Fiery, fiery orange, yes. we have some pictures that, that we can show up. Um, bright colors, so chartreuse, chartreuse? Yes. Yes. yes, it is. Tangerine. tangerine, is this tangerine? Yes, very orange. Emerald That's green. what you're wearing, right? Right. Yes, okay. Green Emerald and green. rose, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. and uh, of course you have your basic uh, base colors like a the taupe, the brown, the black, and one 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 color that I'm excited about is actually white. 
Oh, um, okay. white is actually, white for the fall. Yes, yes. and yes. I love what I love wearing white, so that makes me excited. Right. So. And why for the fall? Usually it's around summer, right? But now this is it's summer, winter, new. right? It's something new. Yes. Yeah, it white is. for the fall. Yeah. And when you say colors, like color trends, it's not just on what you're wearing. It's also in shoes, accessories, and accessories. Oh, yeah, accessories, yeah. Accessories. Yeah. Yeah. accessories. What about color blocking? We oh, yes. saw a lot of color blocking. It started last, late last year, I remember. Um, what about for this coming fall? Will it continue? Or? Yes, it will. It will be more on royal blue and black. Mm -hmm. It's a really good combo. Right, yeah. royal blue and black. Also tangerine yeah. too. Kind of spice it up a little bit. And more, if we're seeing the pictures now, more bright colors like yeah. you said. Yeah. And still color blocking is in. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, and there will be a lot of glittery pieces, uh -huh. Uh -huh. like lot, lots of sequin pieces. Uh -huh. So glittery. texture yes. also? Uh -huh. There'll texture. be lace, uh -huh. embroidery. Uh -huh. Yes, and um, one trend that actually is going to come out is uh, what they call the girl boy uh -huh. style. Okay. So it's kind of like for men, uh -huh. but once you put it all together, it's still so So feminine. like a boyfriend jacket yes. with maybe a belt to cinch your waist right. and stuff like that. Yeah, yes. and a sporty outfit that looks stylish. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. But that's for the fall. We are in summer still. And when we return on the show, we'll show you some looks from BeyondTheUSA.com. Don't go away.